Take a pair if you want and put them on under that uniform. You look real sweet. Look, Stafford, why don't you grow up and act like a man, huh? Move it, you pig! Huh? I'll cut you, touch you up, you son of a bitch! Mud sucking, scummy pig! 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 I was born on Friday the 13th, and I get the pie! Take here. more than two of you to take off Billy Stafford! Get your asses out of my house! Take your curly little tail off the lot! Out! Out! Take your smell with you too! You pigs! 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 You find out who has the power! Get the 303.
Mr. Shorts in a t-shirt. Anyway, let's get our fort going, guys. Well, I just boosted the heat in for you, so you can... What? There's a present in my stocking? Wow! I think you got a little ho-ho-ho. We still have our apple box here. Here, we'll use this. Sorry, there's in the often neglected mandible area. Mm -hmm. oh, I didn't even want that thing. Why am I trying to win it? Because the machine says it's a prize. Oh! How many tickets do I get? Six. Is that all? Well, watch this. 
be around humans, I, I think I've missed a big part of what makes them wonderful. Sometimes all you guys think about is how you can have the most fun. Exactly! That was practically my mantra. What's up, Dombe? <laughs> Drop everything you're doing. Rihanna is performing in Vegas. I got tickets. We are road tripping. Oh, I can't. I promised I'd house sit one more day, and I have to feed this stupid dog. I'm, I'm sorry, does this dog smoke blunts topless on a yacht like a boss? Because that's how Riri is. This is floor seats in Vegas for Rihanna. The boom is... Hi, you guys. Again, if you don't know, I have been cleaning. I'm going to organize that. And about my closet here, I'm going to organize all this. See that? Isn't that a mess? Okay, that's a decor. And um, right now, I'm going to clean off the couch. Mm -hmm. That behind my chairs. And tomorrow, clean this off and organize that. So, I'm craving for pretzel nuggets. I know that's weird, but I am. Pretzel nuggets with cheese. Maybe I could go to the mall before my session and get some, huh? And that coffee again, that was alright. So, um, yeah, I'm going to finish watching Travelers here first. Hey, it's Mac. You got something? Yeah, maybe. We should meet. I'll take you to Hi you guys, it looks like I'm running low on pizza rolls, so, um, <coughs> I have to wait until later, I think, maybe Friday, get pizza rolls and just do uh, regular shopping this week. And as for this week, like I said, which is why we Maybe I didn't say it. I can't remember. Um, like I said um, to my Facebook friends, and sorry if I'm repeating myself, I want to clean every day, even if I don't feel good. Because I really want to get this done. Okay. So. So I heard you guys loud and clear when I ride my bike. Found my old skateboarding helmet. Um. I'm just heating up pizza rollies now, and I think the day pill wore off because I'm a little tired and stuffy again. So, so tomorrow or something, I'll probably uh, go to Coney Market. I don't know, and then I'll. Uh,
SpongeBob nuclear testing theory, but Squidward's suicide gives even more darkness to an already depressing character. While it is dark and way beyond depressing, the mystery surrounding this tale makes it an intriguing one as well. Hey, Squidward, you're not a zombie, remember? Okay, did I tell you the date, guys? If I didn't, it has been Monday, January 1st, 2018. And if you couldn't tell, I have a bit of a cold brewing in me. As I told my Facebook friends, I hope it doesn't get worse. If it gets worse, I don't want to feel like I'm in hell. So, if I'm not better by Thursday... Let's just say Thursday. Um, I'll be going into the walk-in. And Friday, since I'm trying really, really hard and very determined. <laughs> oops, sorry about that. Since I'm trying really, really hard and I am very determined to get everything organized. <clears throat> I also want to reorganize this because that's a problem too. Look at that. That shouldn't be crowded in there like that. That should be folded up more nicer. Okay. Just look at that. And still got to clean out the toilet. And scrub the mirror. Do this. I got to re-vacuum everything because wherever I'm walking around, like by here, it's really bad because I didn't vacuum. And so I'm picking the dirt and walking the dirt back in the kitchen. So I have to re-vacuum everything. And I'll get to my room last. So I'm going to work on these two closets too and do this. Do that coffee table. So um, Thursday, urgent care it would be. The walk-in clinic. If I'm not better by then. So I'm going to go to bed. Take my cold pill, take my pills, <clears throat> and then get going to bed because the day pill, the Tylenol sinus day pill, we're off. And you know, that's what I think it is. I think it's like sinus problems. Because people around town especially in Wisconsin, have been having that issue. I kept seeing, like, on my Facebook, too, oh, I've been sick with the sinus shit for two weeks. And they finally went into the doctor. I don't want to be suffering for two weeks. I just want to go to the doctor before it gets worse and just get it over with and get freaking better so... It'd be faster enough for me to get a job, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. And with that, um, with me having a part-time job, I'll be taking breaks from filming, okay, on the days I am working, all right? I just wanted to clear that with you. But when I am off and free from studying, I'll continue to clean. And I'm doing a great job with doing what I told myself to do. I gotta wash these out right here. Because it says when it, it comes to recycling cans or bottles, no liquid or no food on there. So I gotta clean, rinse those out. And see, I had a spoon, something with a spoon, fork, and another one. I'm doing a good job. 
homes for everything. Once I dirty a dish or fork or silverware or whatever, goes in there. And I'll organize this. And I'll organize that. The closets. And then, um, and I also want to organize through here. Because if I found this, see, it was just hiding and behind one of these books over here. If I found this, I can find my birth certificate and social security card. So that is the plan. Huh, this all done. <laughs> this is an old uh, Christmas thing a friend got me. Yep, from Jean Highland. Am I getting warm? Merry Christmas, God bless. <laughs> so, all these are going to get organized and everything. Shit, it's um, over five minutes long. <laughs> this little clip. Okay, so I'm going to go get going to bed. So I'm really, really feeling shitty here. And with this, this says it expired on that, um, on in October 2017. So I'm going to use a spoon or something and dig out the cheese and wash that out. So I'm already Eddie Eddie prepared for what I need to do. So come on, E. And another thing that I'm proud for 2017, my love for Eeyore school because I don't mind the studying. It keeps my mind off of other things. And my niece Bailey being born because she's such a sweetie pie and so cute. I'm so excited to see what she's going to become, you know. She's going to be a champion swimmer you know those swim races things or uh actor singer songwriter you know that's what i'm really really excited for <clears throat> okay i'm really gonna shut the hell up now seriously okay so oh this is <laughs> What it looks like on the night of January 1st. And it was below 8, minus 8 degrees is the lowest. It was in the afternoon. I don't know what the temperature is right now. Maybe even lower, I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My cue to cut this. along with her. When I moved into my aunt's house, things like that happened there, too. Doors would randomly swing open while you'd be sitting right next to them. My bedroom door would often swing back and forth, and I'd just say stop, and it would. It didn't bother me anymore, but I guess I was already kind of used to it. Small things would be moved, <coughs> and around lights would be on that I knew were already turned off. My best friend began staying over, and she would hear and see it, too. It became the running joke between her and I that we had a pal, and it was named Ghosty. I know, very original. Years passed with all this small stuff happening, and my best friend and I decided to get our first apartment together. We were so friggin' excited for this. We were both 19 years old, and we were ready to be out on our own. We moved in in January, and it wasn't even a month later before things... We were only there for a single night out of our planned vacation week. We have not been back since. <laughs> the following encounter happened to me this week. I'm a male in my mid-thirties, and English is not my first language. I remember feeling sick to my stomach while tears streamed down my cheeks into my beard. 
I was sitting in my car on the side of the highway around midnight in between two major cities in Europe. Maybe less than an hour earlier, I had fought bitterly with my girlfriend. We both got mad at each other. She got passive-aggressive, and I began to yell at her. I couldn't stand to be with her that evening, so I got my keys, slammed the door, and off I drove to my apartment in another city, which is also my city of birth. I had to take a break during my drive home. The episode with my girlfriend woke emotions that were too great for me to ignore, so I sat there on the highway with my blinking light and no engine turned on.